Yo, what up Street Talks, Eric Kim. All right, so, another thought. About your own personal duties, the duty to humankind, legality, law, and ethics, and a little bit of everything in between. So this is kind of interesting. I feel that right now with Corona, COVID, it's the most epic time to be alive in terms of how society is rapidly uh, changing, being reevaluated and being, you know, reimagined, recreated. And, you know, our lives are short, but certainly as a photographer, as a blogger, vlogger, creator, artist, you have immense power to document and create and capture part of this history and to leave a gift to future generations of humankind. So, like, insofar much as I've thought about this, the point of humanity is for us to leave future humanity gifts, ideas, knowledge, wisdom, and things to empower them. So there's, a, I was recently kind of re-watching Troy with uh, Brad Pitt, and there's a scene where the kid kind of, you know, rides a horse to Achilles' hut, and he's like, yo, Achilles, you know, aren't you scared to find that guy, right? And he's like, oh, if I were you, I would just stay home, I wouldn't fight him. And then Achilles slash Brad Pitt goes, that's why no one shall remember your name. <laughs> and I just, I just thought it was hilarious because it's, it's kind of true is that like, it's hard to predict who's gonna be remembered, but we could predict with higher certain who's not gonna be remembered. You know, people who are not gonna be remembered are people who essentially took no epic risks in life. And it seems like the more epic risks you take in life, the higher the likelihood that you will become memorized in history, people are gonna remember your name, and hopefully your exploits, your actions, your activities, your thoughts could empower future generations of humankind. And it's kind of interesting because this is where I think valor, virtue is its own reward, where after you're dead, ain't nobody could appreciate being remembered, right? Because you're already dead, right? Like, like what was the practical point? Unless, you know, you're thinking about like leaving something to your future generations or stuff like that. But for the most part, once you're dead, you cannot reap the rewards of your fame and your virtue. So why is one to do virtuous things? It's for the sake of virtue. You do it for the sake of it. You don't do it because you want to be applauded or remembered or whatever. You do it for the sake of it. And what does it mean to be virtuous? To me, to be virtuous means to be somebody with big huevos, somebody with big guts, somebody who has the balls or the ovaries or the, the guts or the testes to essentially put their self, themselves on the line in so far much of becoming a hero to help serve other generations of humanity. And what does that demand for us? That demands that we be strong, for us not to complain, for us not to, to whine and um, let, let reality get the best of us. But actually what it means is for us to be strong, severe, for us to for us to take everything reality throws at us and to transform and to transfigure it to our own personal benefit. And thinking about life, I don't know. This is, this is just like my philosophical thought. When life gets hard and more cruel and difficult, that's actually when life becomes more interesting. So this kind of gives you the chance to finally exhibit your strength because if society is not in a chaotic situation, you don't even have the opportunity to become strong. The, the conditions of existence need to be difficult in order for us to become strong. So if you, if you grow up in a palace with maids and servants and stuff like that, you never need to become strong, you're never gonna become strong. And it's part of my personal vanity that I delight in my strength, I delight in my personal valor, my virtue. And so let the point of our life to be virtuous for our fellow humans, for ourselves, and for future generations of humanity.